Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can customize your WordPress theme without any coding. Let's say you have a WordPress website and you want to change the look of your site, but you don't have the options you want in your theme settings. So instead of using this theme section, you want another way to customize your theme without using code. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to customize any element on your site and you'll have more design options and features like font designs, color options, etc. Now we are going to do this without any coding. So it's going to be very easy. So let's get started. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's start customizing your website. Now to customize your WordPress theme, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to get the yellow pencil WordPress plugin. This is the plugin which will help you customize your WordPress theme without any coding. So to get the plugin, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. So to get the plugin, we need to purchase it. Now this is a one-time fee and you don't have to make any monthly payments. So let's click add to cart. Then click go to checkout. And it will ask you to create an account. You can use your Google sign up or enter these details to create an account. I am going to sign up with Google. So let's click on it. Select your Google account. Then your account will be created. Now let's fill up these details. Once you have done that, just click save. Now to get the plugin, let's select a payment method. Enter your details. Then click pay securely. So now we have successfully got our plugin. Now to download the plugin, let's click here and click download. Now you will get these options. So click on this and the plugin will be downloaded to your computer. So now we have successfully got the yellow pencil plugin. Okay, once you have got the plugin, you can now go to step 2 which is to install the plugin. Now to install it, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Now go to plugins and click add new. Here click upload plugin. Now drag this file and drop it here. And the plugin will be selected. Now click install now. Then click activate. So now we have successfully installed the plugin on our site. Once you have installed the plugin, now to use the plugin, we need to activate it. So to activate the plugin, let's click here. Click activate. And you will get this page. Now click approve. And click here. So now we have successfully activated the plugin. This means you can now start customizing your WordPress theme. So to start customizing, let's go to our site. And if we click refresh, you can see that we have got a new option. Now to start customizing, let's click this option. And you will get these options. This means you can now customize any element on your theme. Okay, now let's say you want to change the font for this text. How will you do that? So to change the font, just click on it and it will be selected. Once the element is selected, now you can use these options to change the design of the selected element. Now to change the font style of this text, you can use this option. Just click on it. Now if you click here, you will get a lot of fonts to choose from. You can just go over the designs to see the live preview of how it will look on your website. Once you find the one you want, just click on it and the font will be applied. 
Okay, now let's say you want this font a little bigger. So to increase the size, all you have to do is go here and drag the slider like this. And as you can see, the font size has increased. And you can see that the design of all the same elements have changed. So this is how you can change the font style. Okay, next, let's say you want to change the look of this image. So to change the look, you can just click on it. Now let's try this option. So let's click on it. And you will get these options. Now let's drag the slider. And you can see that we have got a curve in our image. Now to add this design to all the sides, you can do that by dragging the remaining sliders. So let's do that. You can see that the curved design has been applied to all the sides. And also, as you can see, the same design has been applied to all the images. So this is how you can change the look of your image. Okay, next, let's say you want to have this image and text like this. So first, let's select the image, then drag and drop it like this. Next, go over the text section and click on it. Now drag and drop it here. And all the text sections will be moved to the left. Finally, let's move the image here. So you can just click on it and then drag it here. So this is how you can change the arrangement of your content. Okay, next, let's see how you can change the design of the section. Let's say you want to add shadow effect to this section. So to do that, first let's select the section. Now the section is selected. So to add shadow effect, you need to use the shadow option. So let's click on it. Now drag the slider. And you can see that we have got the shadow. Now if you want to change the shadow color, you can click on the color option and choose the color you want. So let's click on it. And choose the color you want. As you can see, the shadow color has been changed. So this is how you can change the design of a section. Okay, next, let's say you want to change the design of this area. For example, you want to have more space here. So to add the space here, all you have to do is go to the place and click on it. Once the element is selected, now if you go to the end, your arrow will change like this. Now click and drag this and the space will be added. In the same way, you can add space where you want. Okay, let's say you want to change the background color for your site. So to do that, click on the empty area like this, and you can see that the full area is selected. Now to change the background, you can use this background option. So let's click on it. You need to use this color option to change the background color. So just click on it. And like we did before, you can select the color you want and the color will be applied. So this is how you can change the background color of your website. Now to save your changes, you can use the save option. So let's click save and your changes will be saved. Let's go to our site. This is how our website looked before. Now if we click refresh, you can see that we have got the changes which we have made to our website. So this is how you can customize any WordPress theme without any coding. If you want to learn more about WordPress, you can take our WordPress beginners course where we will show you how to build any kind of website you want without any coding. You can use this link to join our WordPress beginners course. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.